post fight, Mel Khan versus Chris Alger. That's about right. Now come won that fight, y'all. Maricon did win it, in my opinion. Um, no, Chris Aldrey put up a good performance. He put up a better performance than um, you no know, Devin Alexander did. He was taller. He um, you know, had a new trainer, you know, John David Jackson. He had an aggressive style. We all know that. Um, hold on one second. Let's see what he got to say, y'all. Your coach, Virgil Hunter, told you you need to be a tiger, you need to be a dog, because this the guy's not going away. How much did that resonate with you? Um, it did, it did, you know, up to you. First of all, I want to respect, I want to show so much respect to Chris Algeri. He comes to fight, wanting to win, had his own curve here. Um, but you know, I can 100% that. There's a few mistakes I made. Obviously, I didn't expect Chris Algeri coming forward. I thought he was going to move back and be on the back foot, but when I'm in the corner and Virgil, um, you know, told me the right game plan to follow. We have to change it up to go to game plan B, and they work for me. Winning here in New York. You've been so successful here. This crowd very much behind you. How did that feel tonight? Um, I just want to say thank you to New York. New York! I just want to say thank you to everyone over there. I mean, they were, cur they were great. I mean, the, the, the curve really defined me up towards the last few rounds. Great. Chris and I are coming stronger. Uh, the curve was pushing me, man. Talking about the future, we know what's on your mind. Let's Look, listen, y'all. Two in your career next. Look, I think everybody knows I'm here to fight Floyd Mayweather. I mean, that's what we want next. And you know, I'm the number one in DC. Mayweather is the champion, so let's make it happen. And you heard him, you know who's looking for Floyd Mayweather. A great performance tonight. I'm here. All right. American got the 12th round uh, unanimous decision over um, no, Chris Aldrey, a close unanimous decision. Like two judges had it. Excuse me, one judge had it 115-113. Uh, the other two had it 117-111. Uh, like I said, Chris Aldrey put up a great performance, the best performance he could have you know, put up, even though this was his uh, second fight at, um, I think, 147. His first fight was against uh, Manny Pacquiao. This was his second fight at uh, 147. And, um, you know, him switching trainers, getting rid of... Um, the other asshole he had, the one that was telling him, you know, don't let the dog out yet, don't let the dog, the lion out of the cage, and you know, whatever that guy's name was, he's not important. So now he's been working with uh, John David Jackson, the um, you know Kovalev's trainer, and I think uh, Kovalev's trainer had a, a good, um, a good game plan because obviously you got two boxes in there, and uh, both boxes don't like to you know be aggressive. Obviously, you know they're gonna stand back and they're gonna be jabbing, looking for range, and you know. Trying to, you know, pick their shots that's going to be in ball and fight. So, John David Jackson is more like, yo, you obviously don't hit as hard as Americans. So, you know, obviously they didn't think Americans was going to be aggressive. So, they was like, how about you be the aggressive one and come forward. You know, keep the hands up. You know, bobbing and weaving. He had his hands up, bobbing and weaving. You know, he was slipping shots, landing left hooks. And he actually staggered, not really staggered, but he buckled Americans' uh, leg in the second round when he caught him with a, um, I think with a right hand. And his leg kind of buckled and he stood straight up. So, I mean... I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, American really looks about. The, uh, he, I mean, he's like the same fighter, in my opinion, man. I mean, obviously, he's not with. Um, he's not with Freddie Roach anymore. But I mean, in my opinion, he's the same fighter. The only difference is, uh, you know, he doesn't, you know, push off like he used to. Like when the pressure got rough years ago, he used to always the guy get thrown punches to get in on him. He end up pushing him off. He don't really push off anymore. He don't really, you know, bounce around. It's hyper. As he used to, he's more steady on his feet. But other than that, man, his defense is the same. Speed, power, everything's pretty much the same. That chin is the same as well. I mean, the shot, he got hit with a lot of, sh not really a lot, but he got hit with a few shots tonight by Chris Algieri. And if he got hit by a stronger puncher, he would have went down. I don't think his chin is any better. It is now at 147 as it, as it as it was at a 140. So, um, you know, I'm not bashing American. It's not a, a video to bash American. I'm just saying that, you know, his chin is not, it's pretty much the same as it was at 140. So, he got the victory. A shout out to Americano. Oh, yeah, shout out to my man, Ellie Setback. I see you up there in New York City, man. Shouts out to Setback. And, um, yeah, man, Chris Aldrin put up a best perform 
one of the best performances he could ever put up against uh, Amir Khan. I had a feeling Amir Khan was going to win. I didn't think that um, it was going to be a close decision. I didn't think Chris Aldre would have put up a good fight like he did tonight. So he put up a great fight, man. Shouts out to Chris Algeri, the uh, boxing collegiate man. And yeah, so y'all let me know what y'all think of this, man. Hashtag, what's the hashtag? Con, yeah, Con Algeri. So y'all let me know what y'all think of this fight, man. And holler at my mouth, all right? Peace.